Hi everybody. Hey, I just uh, wanted to share with you because not everybody is aware how to use the butterfly whisk. So this little guy is awesome for whipping creams, smoothings, using um, like when you're making your curds, when you are making mayonnaise, etc. It is such a saver, um, it's such a lifesaver. Also making a sorbets as well, which is so yummy. So I wanted to show you actually how to insert it because there is actually a way that it goes into the bowl but not everybody is aware of it so I just wanted to let you know in case you hadn't been shown. So obviously here's your bowl and your butterfly whisk, the end of it, actually goes on to the top of the, um, the blades like that but I'll just actually explain it a little bit more for you. So I'll take the base of the bowl off and I'll pull the blade out so it'll make it a little bit clearer. So you can see it a bit better. Okay, so if you could imagine this was actually in the base of the bowl. Okay, the way the butterfly whisk goes on so it doesn't come out, doesn't risk actually coming out of your bowl when the bowl is going. Okay, see how you've got four blades. Three of the blades scoop down. Okay, but one blade has a bump. That's called a knuckle, what I call a knuckle. Okay, so what happens is when you put your butterfly whisk in, just pop the butterfly whisk in so that it actually goes, if I can turn that around, on the blunt side of your knuckle. Okay, so this is like the blunt side. You've got a sharp side and you've got the blunt side. So pop your butterfly whisk in so it goes on the blunt side of the knuckle and give it a little bit of a twist and then it won't come out. It'll actually be locked into your bowl. So leave that in there. I'll pop it back into my bowl now so you can see actually what I do. So pop my blades in, give them a little spin so they sit flush, put the base on, okay, I'll spin this around so you can see, so there's my blades and there's the, the bum with the bump, okay, the butterfly whisk goes in like that, okay, and then when you're ready, just give it a little tiny turn so it actually locks back into place, all right, and that's how, when you're using your butterfly whisk, it won't actually come out. I can see I'm pulling it. it. won't actually come out during a recipe. So anyway, I just thought I wanted to share that with you. And uh, let me know if you've got any other questions. I'm really, um, really happy to help you and see how we can learn your Thermomix a little better. All right, see you guys. Bye.